Hey, what's going on guys? Lazarus here. Um, I'm doing a few things here out here with my car. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working with. So, I've been uh, polishing my cars. I'm not sure if you guys can tell here, but this fender has already been paint corrected. We, pol we washed it, clay barred it, and uh, polished it with a random orbital polisher and a good polishing compound. So you can see here, very, very good uh, results that I got. Um, so I wanted to show you because uh, I wasn't confident at first. I wasn't confident at first uh, if I'm able to do it and whatnot because it's my first time doing it. But if you guys can see here, not sure if you guys can tell, it's just kind of hazy. There's scratch marks. There's one that goes along right here. And then there's another one right here. And these are just not that deep scratches, but they're there and it's hazy. The paint's really hazy compared to the other side of the vehicle that I've already done. So I, today I just need to do the two doors and then my my bed side over here but as far as the rest of the truck it's like glass I mean there's still chips here and there but like I said it's my older truck it is what it is I want I definitely wanted to bring back some life into it and uh, I think I got the right results now I'm gonna show you guys the uh, products that I'm using using this uh, Bauer dual uh, action polisher that I got from Harbor Freight. Uh, this six and a half inch correcting foam pad that I got it from AutoZone. And then I got the clay bar kit from Mothers and I got that on sale at uh, O'Reilly's. Um, to do a quick wash, I got the uh, Chemical Guys, um, Mr. Pink. Uh, so bad really you just don't need that much to wash the vehicle with that it's just a dab a dab of it and then it gets really 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 foamy so I'll show you guys the process and if I could do it you guys can do it too all right guys so I'm gonna start uh, wet sanding this problem area that has a lot of the uh, uh, hazy um, uh, old clear Guys, so I just got done clean the two doors. Um, see this small residue that's left over from the uh, detailer, but I really wanted to show you guys this. Let me see if I could do a, a close up. Sorry for the spinning, I'm just trying to get the right light. I'm sure, if you guys see the little black marks as I went throughout my whole truck. Um, there's definitely a lot of contaminants on this old paint. So definitely if you guys are um, uh, trying to paint correct your vehicle polish and all that stuff, I definitely recommend that you guys clay bar it because um, from the videos that I saw, everybody recommended it. Just didn't really know why until I really did it. And the areas that I really noticed a lot of the contamination was at the bottom of the, uh, of the, towards the bottom of the vehicle, more where the tires are at and more like down here of the, you see the, the passenger door, the rear door down at the bottom, even all the way up, all the way up here and down here behind the, the wheel. There was a lot, now it's smooth. But man, when I went down with those uh, with the clay on those sections, it got black. So I had to do it more than a few times to make sure that all the contaminants 
was uh, uh, done and, done away with. So now the next step is to I'm going to rinse the vehicle, make sure I get some of that uh, the chemicals off, and then the next step I'm going to show you guys the uh, um, can't even think because it's, it's getting warm out here. So I got to make sure I hurry up uh, my polish and my rotary tool. All right guys, so this is the polish that I'm using, the Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. I got it at AutoZone. Um, I bought that once to try to paint correct. I was doing it by hand, those uh, quarter panel sections that I originally uh, uh, sandpapered earlier in this video, uh, but it really didn't work. And I, I, it's because I didn't have enough of a hand force to do it. So it just sat in my in my uh, garage for I don't know six months, and until you know I got I got I started watching other videos to get a rotary tool and do it. So again, uh, first time doing it. There's not much uh, uh, experience here, but the results are super super great. Here I'll show you guys again. It's already dust fallen on my vehicle from being outside, but just the sheer shine and the color depth that, that got, uh, came back from my vehicle. I definitely re <clears throat> not regret buying this this one and, poli and doing a one-step polish with it. So uh, here we go with the uh, my Bauer uh, rotary uh, random orbiter. This is what it looks like already have the the foam pad on it you got the settings down here it goes to max six so when I use this bad boy um, I dab a few a few dots of polish on top of this make sure that it's uh, nice and wet I, I, I dab it on the paint as I saw some other people do it and then I turn it on to just to kind of spread the material out to the section that I'm working at and then um, uh, I turned it up to four and that's when it gets uh, it gets up to speed enough for me to control and not a, not a lot of vibration and I take it smoothly around the section that I'm working and man does it really really work so I'm gonna go ahead and bring my extension cord out here and oh before that I'm gonna rinse my vehicle and then uh, bring my extension cord out here so I can start uh, polishing this bad boy Go. Yeah. right there. So you're rinsing in the car and then you're gonna put um, the soap on? Well, I already cleaned it. So you're gonna rinse it now? Rinse it. Then you're gonna scrub it and then dry it? Dry it, yeah. So weird. Is the car. I take this from school. Okay, get closer a little bit. All right, guys. So if you guys can see. The, the, the water is so clean onto the, uh, the surface here. So if I, I've already polished and waxed the side. So if you see the water, it just shears off. Are right, you getting that dip? See, it just shears right off where over here, it clings on, it still clings on to the paint just because of the abrasion that's on it already. camera girl right there did a really good job this uh, pretty uh, I want to say kind of saturated because it's the pads pretty dry so I definitely do small dabs around like that you guys can see and then what I'm gonna do now turn it on close the lid and 
then make sure I put this to number two so it's got this rotary speed uh, where it's a bit slow. And what I'm going to do is work this section here. Back up a little bit. Make sure I get my whole body up okay. So now, as it's on the paint, Alright guys, so get close man. Yeah. Alright guys, so this is the first section. You can I'm gonna wipe this. You should be able to see the sheer shine of the section. <laughs> on the way. And you see, it just feels. How does it feel, Ben? Smooth. Touch this side. How does it feel? Dirty. It feels dirty? Yeah. This one feels smooth and clean. Right here feels like a little dirty. And that, guys, is what we're going to do with the whole vehicle. Last, next step is going to be the to wax the vehicle and protect that new polish that we just did. That new, the unclear clear that we did. So that's what we're gonna do next. Hey guys, so I just finished polishing my truck. Um, I did the two doors, and then I did the bedside, uh, the the driver's side bedside of the truck. And I'll show you guys the results. I think they came out pretty pretty good. So let me wipe it real quick. So there was this line of oxidation that I that I sanded myself. I'm not sure if you guys see, but from a far away, you can't even see that anymore. It looks really, really good. I got the results that I wanted. And it's right along here, and it's smooth like butter. All right. It looks, it looks really good, guys. So my next step now is grab my uh, my wax that I that I have here, apply it, let it dry, and then buff it off. All right, guys. So car is buffed off. I got the excess uh, polish off. So the next step is to uh, apply a really good grade wax or maybe a ceramic coating of your liking. But since I don't have that right now, I'm gonna go ahead and um, hit it up with the Meguiar's Gold Class Pernuba Plus here. I've already used this on the rest of the body and I'm very, very happy with the quality that it gives. It definitely gives it that nice deep gleam uh, that a wax should. Um, and as you guys saw earlier, um, as far as the this is a new word out there, or it's been being used a lot, the hydro, hydrophobic quality properties. It actually works really good to keep it and repellent water off of the, the, the car's, uh, the car's uh, paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And you don't have to blob it on there to get a nice seal to your paint. Cause I've already applied wax on the uh, other cars. side, of, on the other side of the of the paint, and really, I'm barely even. See, you guys, I'm barely even using any, but it it goes a long way. So that's the right here's the wax, and this is the paint. The wax is probably way more smoother than the paint. Well, the wax will protect it too. Yep, the wax will protect it. All right, guys. So my process is finished. Again, I washed the car, 
I um, clay barred it. You stay detailing spray uh, with the clay bar. Three, I went ahead and used my um, uh, orbiter polisher and polished my vehicle with some Meguiar's polish, the ultimate polish. Then it waxed it. I'm gonna show you guys the results. You too can get these results as long as you do a little bit of research and uh, use a little bit of uh, knowledge and, and t take, your take your time, patience to get good results. Alright guys, let me know if you guys like this video.